Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's with Nanda here, aka Lo. What's good? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in taking care of your natural hair on a budget and save your coins. And this, because that's what we do over here, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and thumbs up this video. Make sure you hit your notification bell so you know every time I upload, because you know you want to see sis coming through and save your coins, okay? And if you are coming back to check another video out of mine's, hey, how you doing? What's good, little gang? Thanks for stopping through to check a video out from moi, what's more in a gang, okay? So, as you guys can tell from the thumbnail, we are going to be doing a flexi rod set using our good old grease. This time we're using African Pride Herbal Grill Super. I did work with them one um, before on this particular hair grease. So yes, I know it's good, but I have never tried it with these good old flexi rods. So yeah, I have enough uh, flexi rods for this head. I'm praying it don't take forever. I'm praying it don't be like a hot mess or anything like that because um, yeah, I tested out on one little part and it came out bomb, but we just gotta make sure and pray that the whole head is gonna be bomb, okay? So, if you're interested in checking out this video and seeing how I got these bomb curls with the flexi rods and the hair grease, then make sure you keep watching, y'all. You still like bitches with hair perm? Now I like it natural, actual, factual, naps and shit, bougie still do ratchet shit. Okay, so before we get into this video, because I got to, I think I gotta start back on my um on my on my announcements. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I know y'all be watching my videos and you dead do not be subscribing. I see. You know, you do you guys know that YouTube be telling us that y'all not subscribing, but you dead be watching them? If you don't know, now you know. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button before we even go any farther, okay? And you know what, y'all? If you feel like you you pressured, don't feel pressured because you know what, y'all? We save our coins over here. And because it's free 99 to subscribe, why not? Like, I don't understand. I don't comprehend the pressure that you're feeling right now because it's free. And you know what we do over here is save the coins, sis. All of the moolah, okay? We save it. So, save your coins and subscribe to the channel so you can get all these tips and everything and see how to style your hair on a budget, okay? So, yeah, let's get into it now. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, like I said, we'll be doing this Flexi Rod set. My hair is freshly washed and detangled okay i think i might want to straighten out some of my parts matter of fact not even straighten it out but actually part it the way i want it um the side i want it on so that my curls will flow not even flow but sit the way i want them to sit so i'm going to do that real quick and come back all right guys so now that i have sectioned my hair off and everything and made make each section even for me to handle now i'm gonna let you know what you need for this hairstyle so we're going to be starting off with a grease of your choice. I'm using African Pride Super Grow, no, Grow Super hair grease. That's what I'm using today. I'm using my Extreme Wet Line, the Blue Lid. If you guys have not seen my review on this, I will link it up above so you can check it out if you're interested. And you will be using your combs, your hair tools, you know what I'm saying? I have a detangler and a tail comb. Help me part and help me detangle a little bit better. And I have my water bottle, and this has warm water. Warm water helps open up your hair cuticles, so I think you should go ahead and add that to your bottle if you need it. Just, just to help manage your hair a little bit better and detangle a little bit smoother. Then, of course, we have our flexi rods. I'm using the orange and the gray ones. I might use the gray to the front, orange in the back, because I think the gray is a little bit bigger than orange. You can't really tell the difference, but physically seeing it, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much all we need to do this style. Um, I am going to save a little time on this video because you guys do not want to see the whole process of me doing this whole head child because you will be here for about mm, maybe two hours <laughs> and we're not 
not gonna be doing that. So I am going to do the back of my head, of course, cause you guys can't see that well in the back when I do it. And I'm going to come back when I need to do the front. So you guys can better see how I am doing this flexi rod set. So what I'm gonna do is wait for y'all to subscribe, you know what I'm saying? While I do the back and come back when it's time for the front and then we can get into this style, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, this is like, um, I don't know how many hours later y'all, but I have came to a section where I think I can show you guys a little better. You know, get a little close up. You will see some little different stuff going on here. Like a flexi rod here. Like, girl, I thought I had enough flexi rods. Sorry, perm rods. Excuse me. You'll see perm rod here, perm rod there. Girl, I thought I had enough flexi rods. No, shell, no. And I'm not about to run out to the store. I'm about to use what I have in this house. Save your coins, y'all. Use what you have in your house if you run out of stuff like this. You can improvise when you take the hair out. It's going to work out. You just gotta figure it out, okay? So I have four flexi rods left. Um, this is probably gonna turn into two sections and then this is gonna turn into three. So pretty much I'm gonna repeat what I did here. Two here, two here, and then the third one's gonna actually be a perm rod. I just went ahead and did a perm rod underneath here versus another flexi rod because I didn't have an extra one. So, but I'm like, because it's on the bottom, it's cool. So I'm not too worried about it because I mean, shoot, it's gonna be on the bottom. The rest of the hair is gonna really cover. So, and I'm not thinking about this because it's in the front and I might want my curl a little tighter because that hair up there is a little shorter, as you guys know. So, yeah, let me get this right. So let's go. All right, so I'm first taking my grease and um, my hair is, I've re-sprayed my hair so it's wet. And then I'm just taking my grease and put it in my roots because I like to grease my roots. And just bring it down the rest of the hair shaft. Um, get the front real good. And kind of finger detangle at the same time. Um, we are going to section this off. So I will apply more grease. But for right now, I am just... Um, hold on, I got an itch, child. Mm -hmm. Yes, right there. Okay. Anyways, so we're just going to detangle a little bit and uh, add your grease. So I'm going to just section this in two. Um, let me zoom in for you guys so you can get close, up close and personal. All of them, like this. Okay, so now we are zoomed in. You guys can see that I got my hair grease going and everything like that. Um, we're just gonna part this in two. You don't have to part if you don't want straight partings. I really don't care too much if it's like extremely straight. And I am looking in my mirror, so you know, like this should be fine enough. It's not OG straight. Oh, well, let me uh, let me try. Let me at least try, y'all. Okay, that's straight enough. So I'm like to start in the back half because it just seems like it's so much um easier versus doing the front and then working to the back like front to back is either work better work from back to front so now we have this little section i'm just going to detangle my hair a little bit with the wide tooth comb go through all the hair i'm probably going to add some more water because i want it to kind of be saturated all right and then i go through my wide tooth comb just for extra you know detangulation <laughs> just to make sure it's detangled just a little bit more um now i'm gonna take my gel and kind of apply it to my ends or a little bit above my ends just so that it's nice and you know thing and then right now i'm actually just trimming my ends a little bit i just want to kind of dust them just a little bit nothing too crazy so i'm gonna do that real quick okay so i just dust my ends a little bit just so so because it's my first time actually doing a full flexi rod set i was really trying to get the hang of this is like two ways you can really do it if you're feeling so feeling like it but i think i'm gonna try i'm just making sure i got enough gel y'all enough water so everything just sticks to the flexi rod because <laughs> this is i don't know how everybody does this flexi rod thing like child it's a process but anyway we get our flexi rod um i start at the bottom 
towards the bottom of the flexi rod, I wrap it around and make sure it's secured real good. If you need to just go over with your comb, just make sure everything's combed and wrapped around. And then I just go ahead and twirl like I'm rolling my rollers, child. This is how I'm doing mine now. I haven't watched no other videos to get any tips on how to do a flexi rod set. This is just the way I'm doing mine. If you want to continue to try it my way, cool. If not, you could definitely, I'm twisting this so it can be as tight as possible. And then I'm just going to fold the roots. Like I said, y'all, it's a process. I'm just making sure my ends are really wrapped good and then I'm just gonna bend it so that's what it is see my my ends are very uh, curly so it's really a hard situation for my ends to stay so I have to pull them out re put some um, gel on it or I can do that right now actually just take some gel and just slap it on there twirl it just to make sure that it's all secure and then I'll rebend it and that's how my hair will look okay so we're gonna do the front one again like I said I was saying like I was saying earlier you guys can look at other people's videos so you like you see how my hair is like coming up uncurling here some way somehow like <laughs> I don't know if flexi rods are for me, but we're trying them, okay? There's a trying process. But anyways, like I said, this is how I'm doing my flexi rods. And if you guys want to look at other people's, you can. I haven't looked at anybody's to kind of see how they did theirs, to maybe try it or emulate it. But this is how I'm doing mine. Maybe I should have looked at a couple people, but I want to do it the way I want to do it. You feel me? I got to learn, right? Trial and error. So let's move on to the next um part and i'm gonna do it a different way to show you guys if you want to try it this way you can so when i do this section i think this will be good on the um, actual crumb rod but you know anyways so detangle of course detangle your hair Slap some of the gel on towards the ends. Whew, I swear. My son needs to be gone, honey. I'm just putting a little gel on my roots, too. I'm just doing the ends. And then, and then I'm gonna just take it to kind of dust my ends. All right, so that's dusted. So now you can actually take your thing, flexi rod, hold it taut. And then you can kind of like wrap it around if you want to do it that way. Like wrap it around the flexi rod. Ooh, I'm poking myself in the eye, y'all. I swear, flexi rods are dangerous, okay? And then you could just wrap it and just make sure it's sealed around. And then I usually just twirl it some more. So that's two ways you can do your flexi rods if you choose to. I'm just going and alternating in between. Sorry, I just gotta bend that. <laughs> um, I'm just alternating in between two of the methods and the way I'm doing it. So you can do it that way. Either one works. Like I said, I just unravel and add more gel if it needs to be just to keep everything laying down. But this is what it looked like so far, so good. Not too yeah, so it's not too bad for my first time. I am going to finish this section, come back and show you guys what it looked like. And then we're gonna let this gel dry. I'm gonna let it air dry because I got a couple things to do around the house. 
and if anything sit on the dryer i don't know if i'm able to come back to you guys tonight that was the plan to come back today or whatever so i don't have to sleep in these but we're gonna see how it works out and then i will definitely come back and show you guys how i take it down and everything so let me do this and i'll be right back yes guys so i am done thank the lord finally two three hours later it is god knows how it's like two something now i don't remember what time i started probably like i let i just dust my ends a little bit just so so because it's my first time actually doing a full flexi rod set i was really trying to get the hang of this there's like two ways you can really do it if you're feeling so feeling like it but i think i'm gonna try i'm just making sure i got enough gel y'all enough water so everything just sticks to the flexi rod because <laughs> this is i don't know how everybody does this flexi rod thing like child it's a process but anyway we get our flexi rod um i start at the bottom towards the bottom of the flexi rod i wrap it around and make sure it's secured real good if you need to just go over with your comb Just make sure everything is combed and wrapped around. And then I just go ahead and twirl like I'm rolling my rollers, child. This is how I'm doing mine now. I haven't watched no other videos to get any tips on how to do a flexi rod set. This is just the way I'm doing mine. If you want to continue to try it my way, cool. If not, you can definitely, I'm twisting it so it can be as tight as possible. And then I'm just going to fold the roots. I say, y'all, it's a process. And I'm just making sure my ends are really wrapped good. And then I'm just gonna bend it. So that's what it is. See, my, my ends are very uh, curly, so it's really, a hard situation for my ends to stay so i have to pull them out re-put some um gel on it or i can do that right now actually just take some gel and just slap it on there and twirl it just to make sure that it's all secure and then i'll re-bend it and that's how my hair will look okay so we're gonna do the front one again. Like I said, I was saying, like I was saying earlier, you guys can look at other people's videos. So you like, you see how my hair is like kind of uncurling here some way, somehow. Like, <laughs> I don't know if flexi rods are for me, but we're trying them, okay? There's a trying process. But anyways, like I said, this is how I'm doing my flexi rods. And if you guys want to look at other people's, you can. I haven't looked at anybody's to kind of see how they did theirs, to maybe try it or emulate it. But this is how I'm doing mine. Maybe I should have looked at a couple people, but I want to do it the way I want to do it. You feel me? I got to learn, right? Trial and error. So let's move on to the next um, part. And I'm going to do it a different way to show you guys. If you want to try it this way you can so when I do this section I think this will be good on the um, actual perm rod but you know anyways so detangle of course detangle your hair slap some of the gel on towards the ends Whew, I swear my son needs to be gone, honey. I'm just putting a little gel on my roots, too. I'm just doing the ends. And then having something. But, thank the Lord, I'm done. So, this is how my hair looks. This is my first time attempting to do my hair in flexi rods in its curly state. This is my first time. Curly state, flexi rods. So, I am excited to see what it's going to look like, but nervous at the same time. I don't know how this is going to be. And I'm using hair grease. I'm not using a foam or anything like that. Hair grease, majority of the time, it's going to be what's a majority of what's used is hair grease. Only a little bit of gel on the ends. Y'all know that already. But this is what it looks like. 
this is what it look like. So, I'm gonna let my hair dry. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I might sit on the dryer, but I got things to do around the house. So, sis is about to get to that and then pop back in. So guys, yeah, make sure you stay tuned and hit the subscribe button because I know y'all want to see the results and y'all be playing with me. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. Subscribe down below because I know y'all want to see the results. I know this video might be a little long, but you know you want to see the results. You know you want to join Logan. So why are you playing? Okay, guys, so I'm back literally a day later, y'all. Wifely duties, housely duties came calling so i had to get those taken care of but i am back now and we're gonna take this down um quick note i think i misspoke last time when i earlier when i was saying that i did i did a test and whatever i did a test on dry hair and it came out bomb so this is the first time i'm actually doing it on wet hair um i think i might do one on dry hair later on so if you guys are definitely interested click a little thumbs up subscribe down below and make sure you hit the notification bell so you know whenever i upload that video because you know you're gonna want to see it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take the back down a little and um yeah come back when it's in the front okay Okay, now y'all. Okay, sis, come through with the Shirley Temple curls. Hey, okay. So y'all, I have to finesse this some, but I want y'all to get into it. Look at these curls, thick, soft curls. And this is the place where I had the perm rod, so it wasn't too much of a difference if you guys decided to use perm rods. And you know, with the flexi rods, look at that, sis. Like, it's already separating, so I need to get to it, y'all, so y'all can see the finished results. So make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I don't know. I don't even know why we gotta keep talking about this. Like, I don't know why we gotta keep talking about it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload, okay? So you can join Logan, because we save our coins over here, all right? I just had to throw that in there because y'all act like y'all don't wanna save your money. Enjoy Logan, and it's not cute. Okay, guys, so I'm almost to the top, and I just wanna show you guys how I am unraveling. So this is the last curl. So hold on, let me zoom in for y'all. Okay, so this is the last curl and the way I am unraveling it, like you see it's already separating already. I just take it where it's separating and sometimes not even where it's separating and just go ahead and pull the curls out. So yeah, y'all. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my edges and give y'all a couple little slow mos. But before I leave, you guys, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome, welcome, okay? Don't forget to hit subscribe button to join Logan so you can get more hairstyles like this on a budget, okay, sis? So you can save your coins, all right? All right? And until next time, guys, kisses from me to you. Bye.